We're back with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. This is on PC, 60 frames per second in 4K resolution. Let's do this. Okay, so we're heading. Oh bollocks! <laughs> we're heading. We're heading to Pastures New. That's what's going on at the moment. Everything look all And we've uh, we've broken down. Which is not good. I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> Nearly there. Yeah. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. You can switch between different ra radar sizes and the compass yes. for holding left all. Indians in these parts, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, the let's make it smaller. Ideal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle Good of the little nowhere. rabbit. See him go, How's look. That different from or hair. That's so oh, cool. Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver I guess here. we got straight on according hey, to the arrow. Don't blame it on me. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Go on. Why are we so far behind? Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very You are now hot. I missed that. Avoid becoming on. too hot. Make sure you Round wear 13. the appropriate clothes for the environment. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Found young Arthur here, maybe a little older, a wilder delinquent you never did see, but he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two, Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> we still heading the right way. That depends. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Drift Sounds good to me. Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. You acquired some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores, used in cooking or to craft items. Yep. Oh, where's he going? Oh, poor little rabbit. I think we killed it. Hang on, we're going the wrong way. Are we? Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, where? Come on, horses. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, it wants us to go this way. Easy. Press left control. There we go. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. This direction doesn't feel right. Ah, oh, yeah, good point. I don't think you're going the right way. Yeah, I know that. I was too busy looking at the uh, the turkeys running around. <laughs> I don't know if you caught those as we was coming up the hill, but they were uh, mesmerizing. I think they were turkeys anyway. Gentlemen, we have survived. 
For now. Now? It is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Okay, donate money, uh, value bills to the camp to upgrade to ammo, me. food, and other resources. I think that's it. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> Sleep, shave, and change your clothes at the tent. Chapter 2. country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Okay, so it said we can. Um... So, how do we look at our cores then? Can we see those from here? Your beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit beside your tent. Where's that then? Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Shave. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Okay, let's shave. Oh, okay, we can go for... This is your current length. <laughs> I don't like the mic. I don't like the chin. I might go for the moustache though. Oh, hang on a minute. That's weird. It's supposed to keep the moustache, isn't it? Not shave it. According to the picture. Oh, okay. So you're just shaving. Yeah, let's go clean shaven. Um, ammo, provisions, and health supplies can be found around the camp. Uh, the current stock levels are shown when near the tithering box. Each day, a person will make stew, which you can eat from the pot. Hell of a morning. Where's the skew then? Okay, so this is the box, I guess. No? Oh, there we go, it's popped up now. Just running a little bit slow for some reason. Where's the skew? Spot for you here, Arthur. Okay, so the chef's over here. Pearson, gonna I'm be a good day. It'll be ready when it's ready. Good morning. Oh, there's the screw. Okay, so you can only grab a bowl of stew every couple of days. <laughs> it got shoved out of the way. Okay, so what is our current objective? What was that? I missed that. quite like the expanded map I know it takes up more of the screen but it's um, it's definitely a lot more helpful so this is our place here what's is that a trunk change clothing okay so we've got some outfits the gunslinger that's what I'm wearing now, isn't it? That's pretty smart. Okay, outfits for the horse. The grizzly outlaw. I'm going to go with the Grizzly Outlaw. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, what else we got here? So we've got food. We've got medical supplies over here. So let's go and have a look at that. Good morning. 
Where's the medical supplies? Oh, is it on the back here? No? Maybe we can't access that yet. Doesn't appear to be highlighted. We have any meat? Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Well, uh, it's better than nothing, Pearson. Thank you, Arthur. Right, so I guess we need to kind of get a mission now. And what was that? Uh, examine horse. Missed that. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. So we're taking the girls to town, are we? Get my other horse back from over there, could you? Uh, sure. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, uh <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, now let's retry the checkpoint. I was trying to right click to talk to him and I must have pushed the uh the what's it called the uh bullet eye. Alright. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Oh that's hilarious. Right, let's uh let's try that again, shall we? Yeah. 
this is all I is do. one of you gonna get that fella's horse well i got lumbago it's yeah well I'm, I'm gonna attempt to do it without right, killing him this time on. lumbago really you all right there friend oh hey you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there could you Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Got again. I think we're going to need this. No oh, shit, I let go. There you go. Now what do I do? Okay, so you have to pat the horse before you can lead it. No trains coming. No. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing this town. Turned into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse both lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> 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 if he wasn't here, I probably would have robbed him. That's brilliant. Oh! Smell those sheep! <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Alright, that's enough for one day. Alright! Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> we'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. 
Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. <laughs> I was going to say that. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. <laughs> then you. <laughs> Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. Now can we rob it? So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Okay, buy some coffee. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, let's buy the coffee. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Okay, so you can buy chocolate bars and things like that. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Well, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's the <laughs> cheese, all right. Okay, we're gonna head outside. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train full of rich tourists heading to San Diné and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. I bet that's her husband. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Where's the hotel then? Is this it? Found a gold nugget the other day. Can I help you, sir? I help people. I, I do all I can manage.
advantage. Are you doing all you can? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I wonder how well this is going to go down. No trouble. Actually, I don't have my gun. Why is that? Oh, get the hell out of here! It's <laughs> 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 on the toilet. That's brilliant. Oh, we got to check the other rooms now. Why not, eh? We gotta check the other rooms. Oh man. Uh, who's this? Well, she's stuck out. There's a woman out there. So I wonder why I can't select um, my gun. Is it because we're in like a safe zone or something like that? Like a like a restricted area, maybe. I'm getting what I paid for. <laughs> hey, who are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Oh. I paid for nothing. Uh, wasting uh. my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yes, sir. Everything's fine. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give more. Hey, you get more. Just following it. Get back here, right now! Okay, so we're chasing him. Stay away! Mister, please! I'm sorry! I'm gonna lasso him, if I can get close enough. Question him first. Are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Sorry, dude. You lost honor. Really? Well. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, never mind. Can we go down there? Oh, maybe not. Shit. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna be able to get down there, are we? Let's uh. Oh. 
Where are they? Are they, are they in here? Are they? Welcome. Oh, they're in next door. They're in the saloon. Just a tough as teak mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah. Regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Make it well, easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. Oh shit. Time to teach you a lesson. Yeah, yeah, like a The fight controls are not fantastic. The, the two, the two close to each other, the block and fight. I might have to change the controls for the fighting. It's uh. Jesus Christ. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough. 
What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Now he's covered in shit. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. The uh, character models and the voice acting is phenomenal in this game. Look how good he looks. Yeah, very cool. Well, that wraps up that video. If you want to see more, then check out the channel. Until next time, guys. See ya.